After researching all sorts of archaeological ruins, Western scientists have declared that the practice of handshaking was used as far back as ancient Greece and, more specifically, as early as the 5th century BC. Historians have found images on ancient pots that show, for example, how people touch hands when making deals. For thousands of years, the handshake has symbolized trust and equality. In ancient times, the gesture was used between people of equal status, showing mutual respect and willingness to cooperate. The traditional handshake as we know it in the 21st century is thought to have come from a time when people often used swords in battle. People carried them in a sheath on their left side, meaning they could pull the weapon out with their right hand if necessary. Thus, the traditional shaking of the right hand became a friendly greeting, as it proved that two people came in peace and did not plan to take up arms. The handshake was also a sign of trust. A person believed that his interlocutor would not draw his sword for battle. Western Manor's expert William Hansen explains, A handshake shows that you have not harmed anyone. This is important today because it is a sign of social trust. Thus, it is not only in politics that one can observe status people shaking hands as a sign of respect. Players do not often shake hands before sporting matches, and the same business people shake hands before and after meetings. However, sometimes, people avoid shaking hands out of disrespect and prefer a different greeting. For example, at the third and last U.S. televised debate in October 2016, presidential candidates Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton did not shake hands. Although the handshake is probably the most common greeting, it's not the traditional way in every country. William Hansen explains, in Japan, for example, they bow, and in other Asian countries, Thailand, for example, they do namaste. Namaste is when the person greeting usually says namaste to the other by putting their hands together and slightly bowing. In some Middle Eastern countries, shaking hands is done but not as firmly as is customary in the West. In China, the handshake is usually lighter and can last up to 10 seconds. In other countries, such as France, you may also be kissed on the cheek to say hello or goodbye. Another way is the elbow bump, elbow touch. In recent years, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, elbow touching has become a popular alternative to shaking hands. This gesture maintains social distance and minimizes the risk of transmitting infections while remaining friendly.